Hey everyone, welcome back. Now, last episode, if you remember, Khajiit made it through Bleak Falls Barrow and retrieved the Golden Claw. That was my 20 out of 10 Khajiit impression right there. I know all of you uh, enjoyed it to the fullest extent and definitely want to go donate to my tingles after hearing that. So, anyways, let's um not return the golden clock quite yet. Well, I mean, it is 500 gold. So, I'm in a bit of, of a dilemma here. Either I return the golden claw and get 500 gold, or I don't. Hmm. I may as well, I guess. So. Anyways, I'm really glad that you decided to tune in to this episode of Sky. I'm sure you've had a fairly long day and you just need to come and relax. Whether it be a rough day or one that was a good day. Either way, I'm glad that you've decided to wind down your night or maybe even relax to one of my videos. Let's go exploring and find some things to do together, shall we? Anyways. Oh, this is where the, uh, the necromancer lives. Hmm. I'm just a poor old woman, dear. No need to trouble yourself with me. You're lucky I'm overweight. Like, overweight is in, like, you know, I'm over, uh, capacity. While I could definitely tone down on the cheese and not eat so much. You know, there, there's still that. I'm coming back for you, actually. Hmm. Uh, yeah, let's just go take care of this now, I guess. I get so lonely out here. Well, let's uh, let's go um, reveal her dark secret and use her. Okay, nothing. Great. Um, let's just use the alchemy table real fast. And let's start mixing some stuff together. Because why not? Whoa, okay. That was a good potion mix. Glow salts and vampire dust. Okay, nothing came from that. Um, let's do bone meal and actually let's do with garlic. Nope. Okay, fine. Fair enough. Screw it. We'll just start mixing stuff together and see if we get lucky. One of my friends used to have the Skyrim Potion app that would tell you all the combinations, but uh, I'm too lazy to look at that. So until then, we're just going to waste all of our ingredients on this stuff here. That was a really bad use of frost salts, but you know what? You can go eat it. Cool. That probably actually did more damage to my- nope, I'm good. Yep, that actually really took down my carry weight quite a bit. Alright. Hell ye, my dear. Oh wait, no, I'm reading that wrong, because I'm uh, dyslexic and also, you know, an idiot. But, in an old woman's voice, let's go. Hell ye, dear. Why do you hesitate? You can feel the power coursing in your blood. You have only to reach out and grasp it. 
wants that boy of yours and come. Come live with me in the forest. My sister will be here soon. Together we can form a proper coven and your training will truly begin. Huh. So, she's a necromancer. And she's not going to be happy with me snooping around. Perhaps. Um, basically, the reason why I had to go ahead and kill her was because she's a necromancer. And you find out her dark secret, so she immediately goes and tries to kill you. But, um, you know. I've been playing Skyrim for a while, so I think I know how to kind of avoid a crazy witch. I've got to, like, get my screenshot game up a little bit, because I keep, like, um, not getting good screenshots. So. Although last episode's screenshot, I think, was pretty high quality. Definitely in my top five favorite screenshots of all time. My first one being episode 29 of Minecraft, then episode 34, then probably episode 35, followed by episode 15 of Skyrim, and shortly thereafter followed by Subnautica, episode, I want to say, 5, where you can see the bone sharks swimming away. So, I had the most fun with those ones while editing them. And they just have like a really nice aesthetic in my opinion. Um, so this is Riverwood. This is supposed to be where I was supposed to go in the first minute of the game. But, instead, we obviously did not. So... Yeah. No worry. No adventurers. No theatrics. No thief chasing. Let's hear it. You are done talking about this. Go. Sit down. Tell us about it. I don't know what. Uh, yeah. We did have a bit of a bad crash. We still have plenty to sell. Robbers were only after one thing. Fun. An ornament. Solid gold in the shape of a dragon's claw. Fun fact. His voice actor is the same one that does Mercer Frey. As well as Nick Valentine in Fallout 4. You found it. <laughs> there it is. Strange. It seems smaller than I remember. <laughs> Thing, huh? I'm gonna put this back where it belongs. I'll never forget it. You've done a great thing for me and my sister. How does he know that I'm not the one who stole it in the first place and then just brought it back? They're like, hey, look what I found. <sighs> Thank you so you and me. Some may call this junk. Me, I call them treasure. <laughs> All right. Um, you know, let's see if we can sell him some fun stuff, like this, and this, and this, and this, and that, and this. Um... Let's see what we can, uh, ooh, that might come in handy. 10% stronger. Yeah, we can definitely work with that. Um, I don't use any poisons usually. It's very rare for me to actually decide to use poison. Wow, one gold. Cool. 
Poison of damage, magic, that's useless. Unbelievably useless. No one else has a drain stamina, so I guess not. Alright. Thank you. Thank you so much. Sure, buddy. Sure. Thanks for the cheese. Thank you, Todd Howard, for releasing the special edition. So I don't have to go through and spend hours doing mods to get it to this state. And then you go and you break Fallout 76. Thank you for doing that. Um, I don't, I don't know what to do right now. I'm, I'm literally out of ideas. Oh wait, no, I'm not. Um. I don't want to do the uh, Deja quest that gets you the mask of um, the super ugly masquerade mask that you get from the talking dog Deja quest. I don't want to do that one because it takes forever. Because you have to go here, then you have to go all the way up there, then you have to go all the way back, and it's just like, ah, bada, 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 just nothing has a data artifact. So, instead, we're gonna do, uh, we can't get the Ebony Blade until we start going through White Run. Um, we haven't gone to Ladder to the Dawnstar Museum yet, so we can't do the Razor Quest. Hmm. Well, I guess what we could do is just keep exploring this area. So I usually don't explore this area over here. I'm usually always over here when I'm playing my uh, my characters in this little marshy area. More, it, was, it wasn't until more recently where I started exploring these areas over here and knocking them out, but I've never actually fully explored this area over here. So, let's have some fun, shall we? Alright, we want to head um, west. Let's not end up doing what happened last time where I thought I was going towards this area, but I ended up in Bleak Falls Barrow instead. So, I mean... That's a cool rock. I like that rock. You know, I didn't know what fast travel was in Skyrim until like five hours into the game when I was first playing it. It was until one of my friends came over and showed me that I could fast travel. Because I had been running back and forth and using the carriage and stuff like that for the longest time. But then I proceedingly ruined the game for me by only fast traveling and almost never going to locations unless they were marked. So I sort of ruined the Skyrim experience by learning about that. <sighs> you guys remember your first time going through Blackreach? That is 
Blackreach is most certainly one of the most interesting areas I think I've ever had the... Oh boy, what did I walk into? Oh, I can't see anything. Whoa, that's Axe right there. Oh, it's a hag. Watch this. We're going to go full uh, John Wick on them here. If only I had a pencil. All right. Um, more useless stuff. But now we have the Hag of Ravens. But little does she know, I've got cheese. Thirteen wheels of cheese to be exact. I've said this before, but um, can you imagine being in the middle of battle and the dude just pulls out 13 two-pound wheels of cheese and just starts eating them? Like, at that moment, do you keep fighting or do you run? This is not having the result I want it to. This is fantastic. That's cheating. You're cheating. That's cheating. You are cheating in the honorable magic duel. Where I am cheating by using staffs, but you know. To each is their own, right? Give me your magicka. Stupid bird lady thing. Pachow. Oh. Pachow. Oh. Oh, hey, there's someone else down there. Apparently. Let's go get rid of them. Let me guess, your cousin had a cat and you killed that too. God, you guys are so anti-cat. I'm sure if I was a dog, then you'd have a cousin who had a dog and you killed that too. Huh. Maybe you're referring to the fact that Khajiits used to be slaves. So maybe your cousin used to have a Khajiit as a slave and you killed it. That's getting really screwed up. Um, nothing out of the ordinary here. Just your average. What's next? There's a cave over there, I guess, and that's going north. Followed by some cool ruins, so let's go. <sighs> We're going on a trip. <laughs> 
There's some random freaking cave. We don't know what's in it, but we're gonna find out. Climb aboard, get ready to explore. Time to kill the guys. Um, it's Skyrim Let's Play. I don't, I don't know, alright? I was watching Vine compilations earlier today for some reason, and uh, one of those little, like, remixes of the little Einsteins came up. And I've had it stuck in my head. Actually, I mean, technically speaking, I was watching Vine compilations a while back, but it's still stuck in Alright, we need Red Eagle's sword, apparently. And I don't see it, so... Um... Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, Force wouldn't have been here. Okay, so apparently this is the Red Eagle sword's resting place. Or, like, where it needs to be placed, and I get some secret treasure. So, I mean... Whatever, same thing. Resting place, secret treasure. I mean, you know, what's the difference? But now we've got a quest marker that goes... Uh, it's not too bad of a walk. I didn't mean to do that. Okay, you deserve to live after that. I don't know what happened, but, um... Okay, that was weird. What? <laughs> you know what? No. You keep changing positions. What do you want? I don't understand. I don't understand what's going on. I don't... What? I don't get it. Why does it keep changing directions? It doesn't make any sense. What are you doing? You insolent buffoon. I will end you. I'm pretty sure I just skipped, like, a pretty vital exploration point of this entire quest. So... Need something? What was <laughs> hey! Uh, how's it going, buddy? Peekaboo. I'm sure I will. But that is, can you play the game of peekaboo properly? Obviously not. That's a cool sword. I want that sword. Do I get to keep it? Ooh. Oh, swords galore. Okay, so this was an entire Forsworn camp that I just totally skipped over. So that just happened. Oh, that missed. What is going on? Were you saying, I yield, I yield? How many people said that before you killed them in cold blood? How many more are there?
Hmm. There is someone still, but where are they? Perhaps hiding from their impending death? That Briarheart did not see him coming, I can tell you that. Whoa, hi. What were you doing there, buddy? Not your job, I'll tell you that. Okay, I'm starting to think that these guys had a little bit of an obsession with that Red Eagle guy. Possibly to the point of writing fan fiction, but we'll never know. I mean, and before you think like, oh, you know, no one in Skyrim has ever written fan fiction. That's a really dumb assertion. Have you read The Lusty Argonian Maid? Are you kidding me? Skyrim has fan fiction in it. Okay. The people in Skyrim have written fan fiction. Like, if you ever find a copy of The Lusty Argonian Maid in Skyrim, read it. I can't read it because um, I'll give you a little excerpt from what I can remember. Oh no, the Argonian the, the maid said as he shoved his buns into our oven. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. It's like volume four, I think. You can find a copy of it in um, White Run somewhere. I want to say it's the Alchemy Shop in White Run. I know this because when I first encountered it, I was trying to steal something from that shop. And I just had to read it. <laughs> How are you not dead? Dude, most of your people are already dead. How are you just now finding me? Uh-oh. Pathetic. You know, you would think the Force would want to be a little bit more prepared for me showing up, especially when a lot of their people literally just got bowed down from a distance. He's going the distance. He's going for speed. They're all alone, all alone. And a piece of paper set me over. Thankfully, I have this fantastic Nord meat that I can drop into the ground. Alright, so my health is dropping really fast, which means it's time to eat salmon steak and seared slaughterfish and possibly even an entire cheese wheel. You just keep saying that. And I'm just going to keep using a bow at close range. <sighs> Too easy. Oh. 
Oh, you've got to be kidding me. What? Oof. That probably didn't feel too good. this down here red eagle ascend oh well what's this hmm yeah, I may as well You're a little late, darling. <sighs> All right, so things are going much, much smoother than expected. So let's uh, keep pushing here and see what kind of fun stuff we can find. I don't know what that was. What was it? What do you think it was? Because I mean, like, you know, if you thought it was something kind of scary, you know, that's something I might need to know about. But, I mean, it doesn't seem like you want to talk much, so I guess I'll never know. Is that oil? Holy crap, it is. Something tells me I'm going through this backwards. I don't know why I would ever think that, though. <sighs> yeah, I literally just went through it backwards. So, they were not expecting me. That was supposed to be an epic battle. Oh. shot him so hard that he sat right back down in his chair. That's fantastic. There's so much force war. It's incredible. Hmm. Must have been close. Ah, they keep moving around. It's making it really hard to hit them. Hmm.
always are hung on those. Ugh. Come on, gather around. I got plenty of iron arrows. That's not Forsworn, that's a hag. I'm just gonna take I'm just gonna keep taking pot shots at you guys. I've got more arrows than I know what to do with. And making your lives miserable is what I do. Can I upgrade my archery? Hmm. Almost. Boom. Hmm. Ah, it's really hard to tell where they're going to be. Hmm. Ah, he stopped. See, I have no idea my arrows are actually landing. But I'm having a lot of fun just taking pot shots at them. Let's see if I can get some from this crowd over here. See, they're in panic right now because they don't know where the arrows are coming from. Oh, but they're trying to figure out to no avail. See, I have no idea if my arrows are even getting close to them. Oh, but it's making them mad, that's for sure. Come on. You guys are like a bunch of ants. Just wandering about with no true purpose. Uh, I wonder how, like, if the bow is, if the arrows are, like, sagging down, or if the bow is actually, air, like, accurate, like, to a straight point. So let's do some testing, because I've been aiming way too high, possibly. So let's aim right there. Oh, no. He stopped moving. Let's aim a little bit above that guy there and see what happens. Oh, he moved. No way to tell. Okay, we're gonna shoot right there. Nothing. Let's go right there again. Nothing. Right on him. Nothing. Way above him. Nothing. Under him. Nothing. On him once more. Got him. Okay, so it turns out there's really not a lot of, uh, you know, sag in the arrow when it's long distance. So, like when you're looking down. 
So maybe I might just need to aim directly at them from now on out. I don't think they're having a lot of fun with this, but I am having a lot of fun. So much fun. All right. Oh, snap. Look at that. They aren't having a lot of fun with me up here, I don't think. Hmm. But I'm having a lot of fun up here. Alright, let's actually get serious and go uh, unlock the red eye thing real fast, and I should probably, uh, you know, move on with the recording. But I had a lot of fun doing pod shots at Forsworn. All right. Okay, can I, can I have the sword? I want the sword. Oh, come on. Fine, I'll just pick it up later. Okay. What am I looking at here, Chief? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hmm. Interesting. It's almost as if I am so boned. Oh my god. Mm, this is not good. Alright, we're gonna go and we're gonna... I might need to resort to uh, leveling up here in a little bit. Um, hmm. So I'm going to run around like a little pansy. And I don't know who Dylan is, man. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Okay, so that axe is not worth it. Um... I gotta sell some of this stuff, man. I don't need that. Those are plentiful. I can sell those for a decent amount, so we're gonna keep those. But in the meantime, let's um let's go into full panic mode here and um You know, I can probably end up forging those eventually, but uh that's worth a lot to sell. See, I don't want to like get rid of this stuff because it's worth like a lot to sell it. So it's kind of worth.
worth it if I hold on to some of them. But let's see if there's anything in here that's useless that I can drop. I gotta sell a lot of this stuff, man. I don't know why I have a hold of so much of it still. I'm gonna have some stupid beacon. Um, so, here's the way that I see it. We are so doomed because I can't do any damage to him. So, at this point in time, it just might be within my best interest to... No, it's not. It's not with my best interest at all. Maybe it is. Because I can stun him. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, there we go. That was embarrassing. Thank you. Um, you know, you know what? Fine, I'll just store those in your body. Okay, that was a really embarrassing fight. I cannot believe that it went down that terribly, but it just did. So, yeah. Oh, that's kind of a cool picture. Ooh, it's posing time, buddy. You're gonna put me through that much grief, man. You gotta, you gotta pose for me. Maybe. Maybe not. Um. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Oh, come on, dude. I just want you to gently lean up against it. Gently. You are useless. And up we go. Come on. Up we go. I am literally spending minutes trying to organize this guy for a screenshot. Oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. This is like the time I put that guy next to Astrid just for the heck of it. That'll do. Why not pose him, huh? Why not? Get one of your skeleton buddies here. Come on. Really? Come on. I said, come on. You're gonna listen to me and you're gonna like it. Try to get his arm. Oh, come on, his arm. His arm. Oh, come on. There we go. Yes. I want his arm to wrap around Red Eagle. Come on. <laughs> oh, so close. So close. Oh, come on. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, this is beautiful. This is so beautiful. <laughs> and censoring it. Oh, I guess not. Oh, I just ruined it. With your, uh, with your
your boy and grab your arm and like There we go. Oh, this is so beautiful. So beautiful. Okay. That was well worth me screwing around for uh, who knows how long just for this really bad screenshot. Gotta do some Photoshop work. I wonder if I can, I'm gonna spend the next like five minutes. I'm gonna see if I can position them near the chest here. Maybe, maybe not. I want like this to be perfect. Yeah, whatever. You know what, we're out. All right, thanks for watching me screw around with, this, with corpses for 10 minutes. Oh, yeah, I really appreciate that. Uh, let's see, in this episode we Wandered around, killed a lot of Forsworn, took pot shots at them, missed 99% of the shots. Um, <sighs> defiled corpses in their resting places. Um, got some cool swords, I guess. Um,. What do I not need? Because I have like, I, 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 if I can just drop one thing that I don't need. I don't know if Draven's bow is like part of a quest or something like that. So I'm worried to get rid of it. Um, I want to disenchant a lot of these items here for their enchantments. I want to sell a lot of them too for their money. Um... But I've got to be able to drop it and, like, not have to worry about... You know what? We'll just do those two staffs. There we go. Alright. Well, thank you for tuning in to this episode and watching me screw around with some corpses for a little bit. I'm glad we had this fun. So, anyways, if you enjoyed this hour-long episode of Skyrim, please leave a like, comment, or consider subscribing. Unless, of course, you're asleep. Then, I bid you farewell and have a fantastic...